In this video I'm going to show you how to make boolean block stitch. Also this stitch is called block stitch, just block stitch. So for practice make chain out of 20 stitches and you can crochet uh, 4 to 5 rows of single crochet stitches or any stitches you wish. Uh, build up a little fabric here. And at the end of a row <coughs> of the last row let's make a turning chain out of two stitches one two turn your work and we're ready to make our first block stitch so make double crochet stitch in the previous row now we will uh, what the stitches consist of, of a lot of wrap around pieces of yarn and yarn overs. So yarn over, bring the hook behind the double crochet stitch from the right, like this. Grab the yarn and pull it through. Again, yarn over, bring the hook behind double crochet stitch from the right, from the right side of it. Grab the yarn, pull it through. So stretch always this each stitch every time you pull it through the yarn out from behind the double crochet, stretch it. Yarn over, hook behind double crochet stitch, yarn over and pull yarn over through the through this hole. We did it three times, one more time. Yarn over hook behind double crochet stitch, pull the yarn out. So total stitches on the hook will be 9 stitches total. Insert the hook into the next stitch of the previous row, yarn over and pull through. Again yarn over and pull yarn through all stitches on the hook. And this is our first block stitch. To make next stitch next to the first one, there are three methods of doing that. So first method is this way, is this. Grab the yarn. By the way, notice that the yarn in this stitch coming from the base of the stitch. Grab this yarn and pull it through the stitch on the hook. Again, important part to remember, this yarn that we just pulled through the stitch will be behind the stitch and it has to be the same height as the stitch itself. Cannot pull tight on it. Now again we will make stitch, double crochet stitch into the next stitch of the previous row. Now we'll do the same thing as we did here. Yarn over, hook behind the double crochet stitch, bring yarn out and stretch. Remember to stretch. Yarn over, hook behind double crochet stitch from the right, grab the yarn, pull it through and stretch the stitch. Yarn over, hook behind the double crochet stitch, Grab the yarn, pull it through and stretch. One more time. Now insert the hook into the next stitch of the row, of the previous row. Bring the stitch out, yarn over and pull it through all stitches on the hook. Again, we're done with the stitch, again yarn over, pull it through the stitch on the hook. And remember that the height of this yarn is the same height as the stitch itself. Double crochet stitch into the previous row and exactly the same movements we're doing again. Yarn over, hook behind pull through, stretch, yarn over, 
hook behind double crochet stitch pull yarn over and so on now we have nine stitches on the hook hook insert into the previous row bring the stitch out grab the yarn and pull all uh, pull it through all stitches on the hook sometimes it's easy to lose that yarn don't panic you can come back and look around for it just like I did found it okay this is the first method the next method to crochet uh, boolean uh, block stitch is this uh, as again the yarn always will be coming out from the base of the stitch behind <coughs> now insert the hook into the stitch of the previous row grab the yarn and pull it through now we will build a chain on the top of this stitch one two chain of two stitches the same height as for turning chain now we have two stitches on the hook grab the yarn and pull through the two stitches and the rest of it exactly the same yarn over hook behind the chain grab the yarn pull it through and stretch always remember to stretch yarn over hook behind grab the yarn stretch yarn yarn over hook behind the chain grab the yarn pull it through and stretch and do it four times hook into the stitch of the previous row bring yarn out grab the yarn and pull it through all stitches on the hook as you notice now this is this first method second method that there is no yarn between two stitches nowhere in first method there is yarn behind and between stitches you can see in the second method you will not have this the first row that I made if you look at the this is the front and this is the back and they are identical there is no yarn anywhere as can be seen in the first method you always will see this yarn over here it will be always there at least it will be showing you where the uh, wrong side of the clothes and this can be helpful but I personally prefer the second method to the first one so if you don't like to see those stretch uh, pieces of yarn seen be from behind you can do the second method let me show you it one more time so the hook inside the stitch of the previous row bring yarn out and build a chain one two and crochet two together so you have this chain over here and this is around this chain we're going to wrap around the yarn so yarn over hook behind the chain from the right grab the yarn bring it out and stretch yarn over hook behind the chain bring yarn out stretch and do it four times <coughs> now hook inside the stitch of the previous row bring yarn out yarn over and pull it through all stitches on the hook again into the stitch of the previous row stitch out and build a chain one two crochet two together and yarn over two three four and connect to the base of your work 
So this is the second method. You see there is no yarn as in first method. In first method you will have all this yarn, pieces of yarn in between stitches. In second method there is no yarn that can be seen on the right and on the left side of your work. And there is another one method, one more method and I'm going to show this to you. We again grabbing this yarn and pull it through the stitch on the hook so we will have this piece of yarn here. Now double crochet and this time when we will go on the right with the hook we will insert it instead of just behind the stitch we will insert it behind stitch and this yarn. This is where the hook will go behind the yarn. So I'll try to do it slowly. Yarn over, hook behind the yarn. Grab the yarn, pull it through and stretch. Yarn over, behind the piece of yarn and hook. Two and three. The last method is also not, um, will give you the same result and the rest actually the same, finish in the same way. It will give you the same result but the only disadvantage, the only thing I personally don't like to do is to deal with that yarn that is attached to this stitch. And let me show you what I'm talking about. right here. It's not always easy at the end to get in here in this place. So, one more time. So you have this thread, double crochet stitch and you go two, three, four. So this is not the best place but it works well. pull the yarn through. So the method the same, uh, different, but the result is the same. My, I prefer to use the second method when I build a chain next to the previous stitch and on that chain I uh, wrap around the yarn and this is how I receive my beautiful stitches looking, looking nice and very clean. So whatever method you use, I'll just show you one more time my favorite. We'll build the chain and wrap around the yarn around the chain. Now very important uh, part to remember about this stitch that um, we were wrapping around the yarn four times. You can do it five from 5 up to 8 and 10 times. It all depends on the thickness of the yarn you use and the number of the hook. If you use a thread for crochet, for Irish crochet, you will not, uh, you will need more wrap around and yarn overs up to 8 and 10 times. But um, this is possible to do, it's not something difficult, you just know the method, you know how to do this and I will recommend you to do the second, it's always give the better result, a cleaner look and um, also if you want to finish your work you would love probably to close it like you will ask what to do over here on that side. Close with chain just the same way as we were doing it, insert in the last stitch and build up a chain. One, two, three. And then again you're ready to crochet your block stitch.